Headlines from History, where we bring the top headlines from the past to you today. Now, this particular episode, we're focusing on ancient Egypt. I'm Laura. And I'm drinking a cup of tea. Let's look at the headline. It's 1274 BC and the results of the Battle of Kadesh are in. Awesome news everybody! We won! The ancient Egyptian army defeated the Hittites in comprehensive fashion, let me tell you. So Ramesses II was our glorious pharaoh and living god in charge of this particular battle. And from this victory, he'll soon be known as Ramesses the Great. He defeated King Moatali II and his Hittite army in short fashion. But it wasn't going to necessarily go so well at the beginning of the battle. The Egyptian army had been scattered. The Hittites had punched through their defences and had made their way up to the tent of Ramesses the Great. But then something miraculous happened. <laughs> yes, Ramesses II went full on God mode and unleashed hell upon his enemy. We have a first hand source Ooh. and I'm going to read directly from it and quote it. The poem of Pentor. Then his majesty appeared in glory like his father Mot. That's the Egyptian god of war. He assumed the accoutrements of battle and girded himself with his corslet, fancy chest armor. He was like Baal, the god of thunder, mm. in his hour. Oh. Now picture the scene, Ramesses II striding out of his tent there, like some sort of warrior king, a living king. God. He leaps on his chariot, he starts hacking away at the enemy, chopping their heads off. Stuff is happening in slow motion, possibly things are exploding behind him as well. He's shooting arrows from his bow, he scatters the forces, unifies the Egyptians under his command and then together they defeat the Hittites and win an amazing and exciting and dramatic victory. Yay! Um, Victory. Um, um, mm, hmm? no. You're making funny noises. I am. You sound like a squirrel mm. caught in a tent. Uh, uh, what? No. Um, no. Mm, that's not quite accurate. Oh. I know you're just repeating the story that Ramesses went around and told everybody yeah, after it happened. It's written on loads and loads and loads and loads of temples. I know, yes. But that's just what Ramesses wants us to think happened. Now, I'm not disputing that he jumped out of his tent and he rallied all of his troops, but the whole problem with the, the Hittites turning up at his camp in the first place was caused by a mistake made by Ramesses in the first place, okay? So, Ramesses the Great, with his army, he arrives at Kadesh and he puts his trust in some of these spies that he has Hittite spies, but the Hittite spies betray him, they lie to him, tell him that the Hittite army have heard he's coming and they've retreated. Ramesses the Great gets really overexcited, jumps in his chariots and takes them all the way, chases after the Hittite army, leaving his infantry lagging behind, but this was the Hittite plan all along, I know, betrayed. They ambush the infantry, hack them to pieces, take them all out, and then they chase after Ramesses in his chariots. And that's where we arrive at the camp. They punch through the defences, get to his tent. And he gets a single-handed victory. No, not true. Yes, he went out and he was doing his hacking people to pieces thing, but he wasn't the sole reason for their, their success at this point. There were some reinforcements that turned up. Egyptian reinforcements by sea. They weren't even sent by Ramesses the Great. They were sent by other military members who thought that it was good to have an insurance policy. And the reinforcements scared the Hittite army away. Yeah? But that wasn't the success of the whole battle. That wasn't even the real proper battle. That was happening the next day. And at that point, 
both armies decided to call it a draw. A draw? Yeah, it was a stalemate. They'd all had so many casualties from the catastrophe that happened the day before, they just left it. Don't get me wrong, there was a lot of bloodshed, but they left the, the battle where it was and then Ramesses the Great, poor dude, had to return to Egypt after a month-long military campaign with nothing to show for it. So it's no wonder that he concocts this fancy story about how he single-handedly takes out the Hittite army. But it's fake news! Oh, but it's wonderful PR though, isn't it? You know, he might not be so good at the battling, but he was great at convincing other people that the lies that he said mm -hmm. were the truth. Yeah, so it's like ancient Egyptian version of propaganda, basically. Right, worked yeah. a doozy. Yeah, it's a good job that they didn't have social media at the time, though. No, would have been pretty bad. Yeah. There would have been a lot of uh, trending of a hashtag, Ramesses. Not so great. Indeed, yeah. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and he ruled for around about 66 years, Absolutely. which is a long time for that period of history. Absolutely, so he did really well considering. But that's it from us. Thank you very much for joining us on our Headlines for this week, this specific focus on ancient Egypt. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!